Sometimes when you're in Paris, you just want to do something different. And today, I want to go on a picnic. And whether you're going on a romantic adventure like we are, or just building a memorable experience, a picnic may be the right thing for you too. So today, we're going to show you what to buy, where to buy it, and how to build a perfect French picnic. And then we'll show you five amazing places to go on that picnic with phenomenal views. So let's go shopping. I love having fruit in my picnic, so let's go buy some. Now, let's go get some cheese. You could buy your cheese in a grocery store, but that's very industrial, and if you want to have amazing cheese, come to a fromagerie. They just have amazing stuff here. The flavor is so so much better. And we're taking some Comte, which is a harder cheese. And since we're just eating with our hands today at the picnic, he's going to cut that into smaller pieces for us. And if you're taking an aged cheese, he asked us how many months of curing do you want your cheese to have. So if you want it a little bit softer, you can go with a six month. If you want it harder, you can go with a 36 month. We're taking an 18 month, somewhere in the middle. You're gonna to find tons of those streets all over Paris where you have a boulangerie, a charcuterie, and a fromagerie. And all those streets are included in our Paris travel guide, which is available for a free download below in the description. So get a copy for yourself, print it, and bring it with you. You'll be glad you did. Now, it's time to go get some charcuterie. In this charcuterie, you can buy the, the pate, the foie gras, some different kinds of sausages, hands cured meat, but they also have the terama, which is like a whipped up things with tuna or lobster or things like that, which are amazing as well. So you can just make your picnic however you want, but we're gonna go with the cured meat. Peut-être du tranche de the salami, oui, oui. So we got uh, cheese, we got charcuterie, and we got some fruit. Now what we need is some wine, so let's go. For the wine, we're going to a cavist. When you're in Paris, you absolutely want to buy your wine in a cavist because usually they'll give you amazing advice on the wine that is going to pair the best with the food that you're having. And if you buy in a supermarket, you're buying ordinary wine and everything. So here we'll have amazing wine and it will be perfect with what we're having. So that's why we're here. So we're having a little picnic and we got ourselves some cheese. We got camembert, we got Comté, we got uh, pâté au poivre vert, and then we got some saucisson and then we're gonna get a baguette after that. So that's what we're having. What would you recommend? The more conventional picnic wine would be a Beaujolais, a Gamay, it's slightly less quality. Yeah. I'm thinking that if you're drinking it in a paper cup, yeah. there is a limit in the quality that you want to go for. Right. You want to go for something that's going to be fruity, agreeable to drink, very nice with the cheese, yeah. nice with the saucisson, but nothing too complex, nothing too expensive because it's a little wasted in, right. in a paper cup. Yeah, we have, we have plastic cups. That's actually a, a good advice. Thank you. So this is a Pinot Noir. We got a half a bottle, which is perfect for a picnic because it's just two of us. And uh, this is a light wine, which is going to be great according to our cavus. So we're going to take his advice and we'll buy it right now. If you need any other wine or champagne chilled, we have a fast chiller in four or five minutes. We can chill rosé wine, champagne, beer, anything you want. Now, one of the things that is awesome in France is that they sell half bottles of wine and also champagne. So if you want to celebrate with a bottle of champagne or a bottle of white wine, um, you don't have to buy a full bottle and it's just two of you. You buy a half bottle, they'll chill it for you and it's awesome. So now, we're gonna go get a baguette and some dessert. Let's go. Get all the desserts. Yeah. 
So lastly, we got a dessert, a little uh, lemon pie and a baguette. And we got the Tradi grain, which is not the standard white bread baguette, but it's the traditional with grains and everything. And we like it better. And now we're going to go and have a picnic by the Eiffel Tower. Let's go. So the Champ de Mars, which is the green lawn in front of the Eiffel Tower or behind the Eiffel Tower. I don't know if it's front or back. Facing the Eiffel Tower. Facing the Eiffel Tower. It's literally like a five minute walk from Rue Claire. So that's super convenient. And here we go. So let's take a spot over here, right in the back with the view. Let's go. Let's go. This is really good, really fruity, very light. This is really a great wine. This is not sponsored, this is just really good stuff. I'm hungry now, let's eat. That's delicious. It's hard to beat a good camel bear. A lot of different kinds of cured meat, so you could get a prosciutto, a, an Iberian ham, or, or something. But this is a, a French salami, and it's delicious. You can get the pre sliced saucisson and moist charcuterie, which makes it super convenient. It's such a uh, delightful thing with a piece of baguette. So in France, that's called a tarte au citron. But for me, it will always be a French key lime pie. All right? Yeah, I do. Well, she didn't eat it, so. Fine. Mm. citron, that's my youth. When I was a young boy, that's what I would always uh, love at parties and special dinners. They just bring me back to when I was a young boy. So, it's good. There are adorable little parks and squares and benches all over Paris. And you may find one of those. And there are five places in Paris that I love to go for picnics. Obviously, right here at the Champs de Mars in front of the Eiffel Tower. Number two, there are beautiful vignettes and spots all around the Jardin de Luxembourg that are ideal for picnics. And in Jardin de Luxembourg, you won't be able to sit on the grass like you do here, but there are chairs all around available for you to sit. Number three, the Square Vert Galant, which is right at the tip of the Ile de la Cité, very close to Pont Neuf, which is a lovely park where you can go inside the green area with benches and things, or you could just sit and dangle your legs right at the Seine. It's charming. And number four, the Quai de Seine, which is really the riverfront area down along the Seine, and it runs all through the center of Paris, where you can sit right at the edge. There's plenty of places anywhere you want with a lot of different fabulous views where you can have a picnic. And number five, at the steps of the Sacre Coeur, where you have some of the most beautiful views of Paris. It's lively, street performers, all kinds of stuff. That is a fabulous place to grab a bite and have a picnic. And those are our five favorite places to stop and have a picnic. So when you're having a picnic in Paris, there actually are three simple rules. The first one is about drinking in public. You're totally allowed to have a bottle of wine and drinking in the street. There's no laws prohibiting that. However, in many touristic spots, the cops will do the rounds and they'll basically be looking for people that are out of control with drinking. So as long as you're having a bottle of wine, a couple of cups, you won't have any problems. But if you're starting to be a little bit belligerent and you know have a little bit too much to drink, the cops will have an opinion about it and they may take your bottle of wines away from you. The second thing is actually not many parks in France allow you to walk or sit on the grass. But in places like Parc Monceau or Jardin du Luxembourg, they won't allow you sitting on the grass. Here's the rule about figuring out whether you can sit on the grass or not. Are there any people sitting on the grass? If nobody's sitting on the grass, then probably you shouldn't either. The next rule is about buying the right food for the right setting. Like camembert and a pie and a bottle of wine is totally appropriate sitting in the grass here at the Eiffel Tower. But that might not be appropriate for Place des Vosges or the Tuileries Garden. So just get a sense of what would be appropriate and what you want to enjoy. Because some places are better suited for a ready-made sandwich or food in the container than just spread it out like this. And last rule, 
please pick up after yourself because there are birds and animals that are going to be around and they're going to go through your stuff. So just make sure you grab everything after yourself and put it in a trash can. Just be respectful. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please make sure to grab your copy of the 2022 Paris Travel Guide. Uh, print it, bring it with you. You'll be glad you did. And until next time. Au revoir. Au revoir.